What's with the people when they reach 30 started believing they gonna be lonely for life? Seriously I am of understanding that current times people usually just date at later age and is mostly working on yourself and even if it's the current statistics 30s are still young. I know many people in mid-30 found and married each other and I am living in leaning conservative country in fact. I am 28 and just started looking for people and has few success. So every time I see people commenting that they feel loss of hope at age 25 and 30, it makes me feel confused. Tell me I am not taking crazy pills and I believe some of you may have have a story to share too. Edit I get it might be little tough but I don't think it's really all hope is lost or definitely. Not to extend people think. At least not to the extend constant stream of posts on Reddit asking they gonna die alone. Edit to this blew up and I am heartbroken to see so many lonely people out there. I hear you. My aim for the post is to not undermine the struggle but just putting that there is a lot of hopelessness out there and bane in that mindset is I feel is worse you can do. Also realized there are a lot of single persons out there who are content and many people commented. They find someone in their 40s and 50s. You are all loves and hope you find people you launch for if that's what you want. I think while dating pool might have gone lower the people in 30s are picky at both the spectrum. And if it works great that could lead to something wonderful. Plus lot of people in 20s do not have good too and they peak in their 30s. 30 ain't too old but I think people can start feeling worried or even hopeless after no long term. Success in the relationship field over a decade. People around them might be married and already having kids so they can feel like they have fallen behind. I think the implication is that if most people start looking for a partner to settle down with from ages 20-30 then once you're over 30 most of the remaining single people your own age either don't really want to settle down or they have some hidden flaw which makes them unsuitable as long-term partners. I don't agree with these assumptions or this logic but I think that's the argument implied by the stereotype. It's not so much the age as it is going on long dry streaks. After a while of trying, you sorta just start accepting it. I haven't hit the point where I've completely given up, but I sure could use a win. I'm sure a lot of people can relate with that. I'm a 32 yo virgin. What do you think my odds are? I married at 53. First marriage for me. Second for my husband. Because most people are settled by their 30s to a large extent. Their friend circle is more or less static and defined. They have a partner or are married already and are on a career track. People in that age bracket therefore tend to be less open to investing time and effort in others. Because they simply don't need to. They're just living their life and are consumed by their daily routine. Although I have to say it seems to vary by culture. But in most Western countries this is definitely the case. I was a hot mess in my 20s. Overweight. Poor. Drank too much. Cleaned up a bit. Got a GF when I was 35. Lasted about 6 years. Met another gal. Less than a year ago. We knew immediately it was the real thing. We got married 2 weeks ago. I'm 44. Focus on being the best version of yourself you can be and the right person will come along. I'm 29. When you approach 30 it's just much more difficult to date. How old are they? How mature are they? Are they looking for a short-term, long-term relationship or even a life partner? Do they want kids? Do they want to buy a house and settle down or do they want to travel the world? Is this person single? In a couple? Divorced? That's things I just didn't worry about before. And many of my friends have been in lasting relationship. So you start to wonder if you'll find someone right for you. Here's my story I'm a 38-year-old virgin the end. They don't know how to be single. 
So they put more pressure on themselves to find someone. If they're dating. But for some reason. It doesn't work out. That's when you get a sense of desperation and start thinking you'll die alone. At 32. I chose to take a year off men. No dates. No hookups. Nothing. Less than a year in. I've met the love of my life. And we're together ever since. It's been over seven years. And we're still going strong. However. In that gap year. I've learned to be comfortable with my single status. Respect myself more. And it all grew from there. Step 1. Be attractive. Step 2. Don't be unattractive. Our society is absolutely obsessed with being married and having a kid and house etc. by a certain age and if you don't do it you're a fucking re also obsessed with anti-aging and our culture doesn't embrace that so anyone who goes against the grain usually feels like when they see others. They know moving forward in their lives in that C0 Oki Cutter manner trying to remain looking 25. There's no timeline or agenda. Marketing and social media are detrimental to our mental health and if anyone doesn't fit into our model of what you're supposed to be doing which is utter bullshit, then they feel like it's all over. Wait until they hear about old people dating in their 50s. We realize that we are getting closer to death. I think 30-40 are just tougher for dating as a lot of people have small kids. Or plan to have kids in the next years. So hang on to their current partner. In their 40 wise. When the kids are older. And they are fed up with each other's bullshit. The divorces come and there are much more people again on the dating market. Comprehension. Can you understand each other while looking at the same people unless you changed areas or preferences? I'm a 30-year-old virgin who has never been on a date and I definitely feel that it's not getting easier with age. Looks fade. Meeting new people is harder and harder since everyone is busy getting married and having kids. And being a virgin at this age becomes weirder and weirder. Nobody wanted me when I was 20 and in the prime of my life. So why would anyone want me now that I'm wrinkly and my hair is falling out? I was 29 when I met my wife I am now 37. And I definitely thought I was going to be one of those people that just date people on and off. Again for my whole life. I just always ended up with people who were such terrible communicators and then I'd get dumped out of the blue with like a laundry list of reasons excuses. It was really strange because most of the time I thought everything was fine. Maybe I am blind, naive, or just too accepting. But that's just how it was. Now I've been married for nearly 10 years and it's fantastic. I was already into my third divorce by my mid-thirties. Say what you want but dying alone is cheaper. I also feel like they are vocal about it. The people who don't care don't talk about it as much. Law of diminishing returns. It's crucial to prioritize self-love and growth. Societal pressures can be daunting. But happiness isn't a race. It's how they interpret themselves and their environment. Also we don't really talk about when we're doing fine. You have money you ain't gonna be lonely. I am going to die alone 100 I started trying to find someone in my early 20s no luck and now. That I'm past childbearing age which would have meant I would have had to find someone by 30 there. Is no point for me to share my life with someone and the thought of walking down the aisle looking. Like Miss Havisham. Well frankly I would rather shoot myself in the head than do that. For me it's when I realized people are very selfish and manipulative. No one will want to simply share their life. No. They want to see what they can squeeze out of another person for gains. All while not wanting to give up anything themselves.